Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today we have two new whiskies on our cask. And we can proudly say they are a very new distillery and they are oddly enough from Ireland. Why oddly enough? Because it's called Glen Dallow. Yeah, Glen Dallow is Gaelic and usually Glen, there are so many Glens in Scotland and we don't have many or any um, whiskies called Glen something in Ireland. But now here we have Glen Dallow. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, but as I know a bit of Gaelic now, you usually pronounce the first syllable of the word uh, in the Gaelic language. So it should be Glendalo, not Glendalo. So, but I've not been there yet, so I can't really tell you, don't take that for a fact. Um, they date back to a time of the year 518. And during that time, uh, the holy man uh, named uh, Saint Kevin was going through the Irish wilderness and probably converting and doing a mission or something like that. And he is uh, shown on the bottle. Yeah, here we go. A Glendello Irish whiskey. And today we're going to try the Burgundy cask. Oh, wrong button. Um, yeah, the Burgundy cask. But back to the distillery. The distillery uh, was founded in 2011 so they're already 10 years old but i'm not quite sure it doesn't quite say how old this whiskey is it does have a bottle number and cask number a very very cryptic number um but they don't say they don't have an age statement um yeah so i can't really tell anything about it but mm, we go to try we give it a try. Oh, it's always smell the cork. Good. So it's matured in a grand cr or was it uh, finished? Was it finished or no I don't say. Um, yeah, it was finished in a, a Grand Cru Burgundy cask or matured, so it should be pretty fruity and everything. Mm -hmm. Pretty light one, pretty fresh. Ooh, a lot of berries, a lot of sweetness, a little bit of a um, citric note in there, a little bit of a um, yeah, berries, grapes. Mm, I like it. Just fresh, light, forty-two percent. A little bit of a dry note going on here on the on the on the on the tongue. Yeah, I like it. In the in the aftertone, it's a little bit of a more of a oaky, earthy tone. It feels really damp, and mm -hmm. but it feels like a a lighter, younger whiskey. Mm hmm. All in all, a nice whiskey. It's not one of these craft distilleries that have a huge price. So it's a it's a normal entry level around 30, 35 euros whiskey. So you might as well give it a try because um, I find it quite tasty, quite nice. And the Grand Cru Burgundy gives it just a little bit of a, yeah, 
yeah, extraordinary touch, let's say they, that way. Mm -hmm. That was it. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.